Good morning. My name is Jason and this is Finley. And we are Hyper Realistic Sandwiches. So today we've got a few more things to show you, if you would please open them up, Jason. Today, first of all, I would like to talk about an irritating tree outside my house. There is a heck of a, a heck, heck, a, heck a lot of these trees outside my house and in my neighborhood. And they all have these spiral DNA seed pods all over the place. They sound kind of cool when you shake them. They're like maracas, but they're giant and they're all over the place. And I think they may be called honey locust trees. So it's interesting because there's a lot of them. First they had a lot of little leaves that went all over the place and I complained about those. And then the same day I complained about them, um, the landscaping people in the neighborhood, the nice landscaping people came and blew them all up into a pile and sucked them away. So that was good, but now these have been out there for a long time. But there's a lot of them, I think the honey locust tree. So look it up, read about it. Well, I think they come around like once a month. What? I think they come around like once a month. The people? Yeah. It seems like they're there every day, but they do a lot of work. It's nice, so I don't have to do anything outside. <laughs> okay, so if you would please open the things I was... Today I'm drinking coffee out of a regular coffee cup. Boring. Right. So, thing just came out recently, like today or yesterday, was this special new greatest hits thing, you know, the Beatles number one. Beatles, all the Beatles number one hits. Plus. Plus, if you want to, you can also buy a version that has all these videos of the Beatles songs from back in the olden times. Um, some of them are from movies, some of them are from just they made them and stuck them on the air to promote the singles and stuff. So, um, I bought this most expensive version I could get, which is the Beatles 1 Plus Blu-ray. Here's, ooh, and it comes with a special fancy book. Inside, I have one Blu-ray in the Blu-ray machine we were watching. And then back here is new remastered version of the songs. I'll have to listen to that. It sounds real good, probably. Got this big book with all these words and stuff. A lot of words. You know what song I haven't heard in a while? That one that you liked. No, not I, Strawberry Field. No, it was not. Was the one? I'm heard the Walrus. No, I, I heard that earlier. Um, Eleanor Rigby. Ooh. I was talking about it like yesterday. It's on the. I know. DVD you we have in there. I put it in there. It is nice because it looks like it's from Yellow Submarine movie. And I remember it because it has that sort of animation where you see something in the background that doesn't move. And the more they go in the foreground, the things scroll sideways more like in real life, I think. When you're in a train and look out the window and things close to you seem like they move fast but far away. That's nice. We watched only a couple videos. We watched Paperback Rider, which I'd never seen before. Um, so I ordered that. I found out about this from my friend, the Funky Man, he told me about this in different versions, and I went out and immediately ordered it from Amazon, and then I regretted ordering it because it was so much money, and then I immediately saw an ad on Facebook of it, and it showed this, and then it slid out, and showed this, and the book went, and I got so excited I almost ordered it again. But then I ordered some other <coughs> stuff I had been wanting, which I will show you. I finally ordered a CD copy of this album that Grandma Rosie used to have. She used to go out with the guy who rode a motorcycle, and it was from a rough crowd, and they listened to Bob Dylan. That's how she got like from Bob Dylan, the Highway 61 Revisited album. But I finally bought that, $6.99. People say I used to look like <coughs> this picture when I was younger. <laughs> this is the album from right before then. This is kind of my favorite. It's a little bit less mainstream and cooler to like this album. Bringing it all back home. This has the Subterranean Homesick Blues where he has the cards he flips through. And it has my favorite song on here is one where he says, I wake up in the morning and I have the frogs inside my socks. But there's a part later on where he says, I got a hole where my stomach disappeared. So that's my favorite moment of the album. Did the frogs take it? No, he got so hungry that his stomach 
it had to disappear <laughs> disappeared through a hole in it. So well, did it get some? And somebody gave him a dirty hot dog. Like adjusted some. Uh, I guess. Also, this has a song on here called Bob Dylan's 115th Dream that's real funny. And this reminded me of another great song that I wrote. It's called Bob Dylan's 82nd Dream. It's from my first album, Star Witness. I wrote it because Bob Dylan wrote several Bob Dylan Dream songs with the numbers in them, but he didn't write that one. So I interpolated and made up what I thought would be an 82nd Dream about my childhood growing up in central Missouri. Also, while I was ordering for Amazon, I bought this dude, this two DVD thing, Filmation Batman Adventures <clears throat> from the 60s. Uh, before, I had the Batman New Adventures of Batman by Filmation from the 70s. That's the one that had Batmite. And when you watch the beginning of that, they say, with Batman, with me, Batman, and Robin, and me, Batgirl, and me, Batmite. There's all these people jumping in. But um, then I found out that a lot of the footage from that was like reused from this old version. Yeah, they had song footage. Yeah. So they wouldn't have to re like stuff. Yeah, but they apparently there's a good documentary on the other superhero thing. Yeah. From Filmation, which is super funny. There's a documentary on here about Filmation, about Lou Maverick. Lou, Lou Scheimer, Animation Maverick. Talk about Filmation Studio and... Stock footage. He actually died in 2013. He was so. super old, I think. Nah, I think he was like 82. But they made so they did they made they used reused stock footage, but it is supposed to, supposedly they did good footage initially where they rotoscoped people. And so their stock footage they used a lot was at least a good animation sequence. Yeah, in my opinion, it looks better than the one by Hanna Barbera. I know I've said this before, but. The what the, the Super, Super Friends, Friends by Hanna Barbera, it just looks it looks kind of like the animation is very, it, it doesn't look very animated in some parts compared to this. Like it kind of looks like they have pictures that are animated a little bit. I don't get why they had to put Scooby Doo in it. But That's not Scooby Doo at all. It's the same thing. No, it's Wonder Dog. No, it's true. Interestingly, uh, it's Marvin not. and Wonder Dog were both. Performed voices by what's his name, who did the voice of Fred in Scooby Doo, oh. and did many, many other voices. Hey, coincidence. But so I ordered this version, of the original new original Adventures of Batman from the sixties for a filmation, and then it features the voices of Ulan Sule as Batman. You may know him as a frequent police scientist Ray Miller, maybe on Dragnet. Ooh. Plus, Casey Kasem as Robin. He's really good at Robin. Really even better as Shaggy on Scooby-Doo, right. though. Okay, uh, remember that, that special um, Scooby-Doo beats Batman? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite was Scooby-Doo meets Jerry Reed. Oh. I had the first three seasons of What's New Scooby-Doo? Whatever happens. Scooby Doo, where are you? Yeah. Anyway, here's I bought this. The version that I already had that Owen has at his house, New Adventures of Batman with Batmite. They could not get the voices of Ulan Sule and Casey Kasem to be Batman or Robin because they were working at that time on Super Friends playing those characters. Didn't they have Adam West? Hanna Barbera. So they instead, in brilliant idea, hired. Adam wants to do Batman's voice. And Burt Ward to be a Robin from the Batman and Robin TV show from the 60s. However, when I bought this, apparently I messed up because I have inadvertently ordered two copies of it. Now I have two copies. So please subscribe to 100,000 subscriber. <laughs> We're going to win this free DVD copy of the Filmation Adventures of Batman. From the 60s, and I think Commissioner Gordon maybe has brown hair in this. Also, there's a big oh. nick in it because it got stuck. Something got stuck in it. So I'm keeping the good version for myself. That's about all. That's about all we got to talk about today. Yeah. Been right. busy. Oh, uh, I've been doing a lot of Amazon AWS IoT stuff. Got de eval kits of our edge connectivity device, embedded device board, Wi-Fi. 
that you could use now that talks to Amazon AWS IoT broker. So I'm getting ready to probably do a bunch of deals. Also, this week I had to go to a customer and do some thing, work with some gate connectivity gateways that we're providing to that customer. And then we're using ThingWorks to make a mashup that shows these things in real time on a website that they can use. Very cool. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess that's all we've got for you for today. Sorry I didn't talk much, but um, we'll have a nice day. Thank mm -hmm. you.